Welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass. You guys might not be aware of this, but this month is preparedness month, and a lot of people are doing more preparedness type stuff, which is cool. I wanted to I wanted to be able to share with you a couple of ideas, and man, we're gonna build a little EDC survival kit, but I want to share some ideas while I'm doing that, and I'm hoping you guys take something from this. And I'm going to be using the um, uh, the from the survival kits that I recently purchased. I've got them dumped out here, and I want to show you what I'm actually going to take from those and use them in this. And you can buy those same items from Walmart or any other place. So I'm I'm doing stuff for the common man, you know, the common person, you know, guy gal out there that gets what they can and gets it where they can get it right and puts these little kits together in a survival scenario this isn't I'm, I'm not doing this for because if someone's rolling in dough they're possibly not going to be building a kit like this they're just going to go look for a place that sells that kit and just buy that kit see what I mean that's why I'm showing you how to do this because there are people on a budget and penny pension and that's why I'm doing it like this so I'm gonna pull you over here and we're gonna build a little survival kit. Okay, we're, uh, we're I'm, okay, we're moving over here. Calm down. Here, have a cup of coffee. There you go, take a sip. There you go. Yes, Staff Sergeant BA lives dangerously. I'm going with Ozark Trails. <laughs> I've gotta cut this stuff open and we're gonna go through this, but I need to see, this is the case I'm going to try to use, okay. I'm going to try and fit what I can in this kit. So not everything's probably going to make it. All right. But we'll see what makes the cut as we go. I want something better. And uh, we've got some interesting stuff. These items, we'll see how much of this we can fit with our actual gear that we need to put in here. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and cut open all these packages. But I'm not going to make you watch that. Okay. Ozark Trails Pocket Knife. A dollar ninety seven. A dollar ninety seven you get this and it doesn't seem like I can just snap it in half, so and the slide lock, let's just test that. Okay. It locks and stays, so that's good. So it's not going to just snap and slice your finger open. So that works. But what helps is they have this system on here and not some other. Alright, so that's my knife. And we'll get into that in just a minute. And we'll go ahead and just set that to the side. Gotta make sure I throw these cases like that. This crap. Yeah, you guys remember the kits. You guys remember this? You guys remember all these? There's your 4x4 four four sheet that we don't need. Uh, that it actually had instructions for. But these containers I'm going to use for something else. Just not this. And remember I said the first aid kit was good? It's, it's in this kit. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this out. Now I just need the multi-tool. I, I don't need the pouch. It comes with a pretty decent little pouch, right? I, I don't need it. Or this. Alright. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of, there's like the field, uh, oh, what is the name of it? Uh, Chef Field or whatever company it is. They make stuff like this, but they put like little wood grain on it to make it look prettier. It is spring loaded. That spring's probably going to fall out. It won't make it. But in a pinch, I tell you what, if I needed an awl, I've got an awl. If I need a knife, I've got a knife. That's a really decent knife. All right. Now I can sharpen that stuff up some more. I've got a file, right? This was 10, this nine bucks, nine bucks at Walmart. All right. There you go. You got a saw blade, that and that and that. Okay, and this folds up, and you've got some wire cutters, just like that, right? And it's not super fancy. Look, it's not perfect. It's not a Leatherman, right? But it's $9. It'll get you by in a pinch. This is just a survival kit that you stash in your glove box. Let's take it for what it is, okay, folks? Um, the reason why I went ahead and grabbed this, it was $1.97. I just figured I'd throw this with this to see if it fit, because if it doesn't, this, I'm probably just going to put this in there. So the room that it's going to take up, let's go ahead and get this open and get it out of the way. You can peel all these little stickers off. But this is just the outdoor products. That stuff's in the back. 
in the camping section of Walmart. I figured I'd grab one of these and use it because commonly most people uh, know about that section. Get this stuff out of the way. It's not perfect. Ah! See what I mean? There we go. Let's just get that out of the way. Now you've got this little gasket seal. You want to make sure you peel that off. All right? So you get to the gasket. All right, this doodad here and stuff, I don't I don't really need all that on there. It's just kind of getting in the way. So, I mean, I could use it for something else, but not this project, right? Got it. There we go. I got more room now. Now that thing's not dangling. So, it won't fit like this. I already know that, you know, because I already sized it up. But, just from looking at it. But it can go like that. Now... If I put this knife in here, I'm going to have to stack it like this. So see how much room I've already taken up already just with that. But there's still clearance. So, I mean, I could still stack. This came from the one survival kit that I had. This is just your space blanket. That could go on top. And get this little tab out of the way. And that would still shut, right? Boom. And it's still waterproof. So I know all that would fit in there. But I don't think I'm going to be able to put the knife in there with this. I want this multi-tool. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of leave it on standby for now. But this way, if I need a knife, all you do is take out your knife. Just like this. And it clings in there. And just like that. Now you've got a knife, right? So it'll get you by. It's nothing, nothing too fancy. But you've got a multi-tool. And that's more important. There you go. Let's just go ahead and get back to it. I don't want to take too long on this. Whoosh. Oh, you would, Bic. Get out of here. I just need one of you. All right, I'm going with yellow. Should I go with yellow or black? Comment below. What do you think? Black? Black more tactical? Let's go with black. All right. Now, let's see. Now, I thought about adding a notes, field notes, but, you know, like a pencil and, and to be able to write and take notes, you know, something like that. You know, it's kind of like Gilligan's Island, right? I mean, if they made an updated version of Gilligan's Island, it would be like, uh, it'd be like Lost slash Gilligan's Island slash other Survivor movies. You know, you got Wilson you know, the, the soccer ball or whatever uh, you could talk to. But, like, if 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 Gilligan's Island got real, Gilligan would be rocking back and forth. You know what I mean? Pacing himself on the shore. Totally freaking out. But I could write in there, it was supposed to be a three-hour tour. But I'm not going to do all that. I'm not adding this notebook to it. I just, I it was an idea. I don't want to take up too much room. This towel would be great. I I think that would be great. It's just an expandable towel. That would work out. You know, there are people that have this kick about toilet paper and weird stuff, but um, there's stuff that people don't know about. The glow stick would be a good idea. I don't know if I'm going to add the glow stick yet because it takes up too much room. So I'm setting that to the side. Important stuff here, folks. You want to have important stuff. That's important. But what else is important? A mini solar charger has your usb right here mini solar charger light and it's a battery pack it quick charges cell phones boom all right so that would be more important right if you need to get your phone going again now so kick the glow stick for solar power right why would i want that it's a one pop shot you know what i mean pop it and that's it uh, you don't want something like that. You don't want it to not last long. I don't know how many of these I'm going to use. These are glitter containers at any arts and crafts store. I just wanted to share that with you. If you're making little kits, you just unscrew and you can fill them up with whatever. Little survival kits. But it was just an idea. I'm just throwing it out there for anyone out there. Paste counter. Now, I made this out of paracord. This is, this is your 9 and 5. This is my little technique that I use. But this counts your pace, so you know how many miles you've walked in said direction. 
you're going to be utilizing that with your compass. This was the best I could do to make it lightweight and miniature, but these little pieces of paracord slide down and stay where they need to go, just like that. All right, now you can pull them, you pull them all together like that so you can save room. Just pull them together like that. Boom. That way it saves a lot of room to fit it all in there. You could just wrap that around that, something like that, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Don't care how you do it, as long as you get it in there. There you go. Now, stay. There we go. Rip this open. Also, in the fire and communications. So right now, I've got a multi-tool. I've got my knife, so you've got tools right here. This is just your whistle. All right. It also has a compass. I wanted a better compass, so I've got a better compass. The kit that had the compass in it, the compass didn't even work. Okay, so this is a workable compass. There's a whistle, and there's also... Let me try and get this out. Oh, jeez, it's going to give me a hard time, isn't it? All right, I can do this. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Magnifying glass. You guys remember Lord of the Flies? They all tried to kill each other over the magnifying glass. There's your magnifying glass so that you can start a fire with. So, compass and a magnifying glass. Do I need this little lanyard on here? I'll leave it on there for now. I don't know if I'm going to leave it. I also have a temperature reader so I can see how cold it is. It, trust me, if it's cold, I'm going to know I'm cold. But something else that could go in there just like that. Boom. Just like that. Now, there's something for fire. There's something for light. There's something to charge stuff with and all kinds of things. You know, right from there. There's your tools and stuff like that. There's something else for fire. There's a big lighter in there. And I've got a towel to wipe my face off with. So I've got a lot of different things here. Making food and things like that, that's something you're going to have to find on, find on your own. But the next important thing, if you're going to build a survival kit, like why have matches? That's one thing that I wanted to talk about. Why have matches when I can have a lighter? Why have matches when I can have a ferro rod, right? That's one more thing that you want to add to this. But you might not be able to have all this extra cordage. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. It'll be all right. You're going to live. Okay. There's my ferro rod. That's the spark force, if you guys remember that. But you could find a way to fit this in here. Let's just move this over. Slide it in there like this. And then you want to check to keep constantly checking to see if this stuff's going to close. If it doesn't fit like that, you might have to move it. Do, 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 do. This thing keeps getting in the way. Sweet. And look, look how much stuff I've got so far, and it's already fitting and working out. Now, next order of business. Now, I've kind of got fire and stuff like that, kind of figured out. I'll get into first aid if I've got room for it. And you could add these, these fire tenders. These are really cool fire tenders. You could just throw them in there, right about there. And I'm sure it'll still fit just fine and still close. So just like that. And you could use the little capsules if you wanted to, to capsule them up. But you want them to be able to move around so you can get it closed and keep it watertight. So, matches take up too much room. So you want to ditch the matches. You're, you're not going to be able to deal with the matches. It's just too much room. Waterproof matches is one thing. I got it. And uh, I, I get the point of, of matches, but uh, these are bread ties. And then there's candles. You could do the candle routine like most people and put some candles in there for survival. I just want to throw some ideas out there. Fishing kit, something simple. You don't have to get too crazy with it. You just put, you got your, there's a needle to sew with. There's some hooks. There's some weights. There's some fishing line. There's another hook right there. And then there's some other twine. And you could utilize something like this to store it in, but I'm going to use, utilize something else. There's your clothespins right there. There's a razor blade right there. I don't need this folding one, so let's go ahead and kick that to the side. Sharpener to sharpen your tool. These are bread ties, multi-function bread ties. You can reuse them. Once you tie them up, you can untie them and use them for something else. So bread ties always come in handy. I'm going to find a way to get that in there once I get it all squeezed together. Rubber bands, you can light them on fire. They, they, <laughs> they'll burn for a long time. If you've got wet, wet stuff you need to, get, uh, need to get dry, they can also wrap up your stuff. 
I can put these around the kit once I'm done or something for the kit. But first off, I want to talk about jute cord. A lot of people don't talk about jute, but jute is highly flammable. Real quick, it can be used as cordage. Just to show you, you can pull this stuff apart like this and make all kinds of little strands. And all kinds of little strands out of it, right? So you've got a whole bunch of it. But one more thing you can do while you're doing this, you know, you're pulling all this stuff apart. Look what's happening to it. Jute, just so all of you know, jute is extremely flammable. So now I've got this, right? I take this and just kind of put it all together like that. Just like that. Now you've got a tinder bundle right there. Now you take this tinder bundle and you would take your ferro rod and you get the point, right? But that becomes a tinder bundle just like that. So basically you want to keep your jute dry. You want to find a way to get jute in there and uh, keep it dry. Next thing up, that was just kind of fire and stuff like that, but also water purification. It's one capsule from this uh, Kaden, I, I can't pronounce the name of it, but they make a lot of different stuff for water purification. One capsule per liter, so 34 ounces, something like that. So you take a, uh, a Ziploc bag like this one, and you can break this. This isn't going to be. This is going to be a little bit more than a, or a little bit less than a liter. So what you would do is break a capsule in half. Boom! Drop half a capsule in there to treat your water. Now, if you need to, that way it lasts a little bit longer. So you've got your water. This is for water purification right here. So now I can treat water and I can make fire, right? And I've got some jute. I'm going to wind this up decent so I can get it in there nicely. But now I've got these that I've got to get in there. A piece of aluminum foil. This is your aluminum foil. You can make a makeshift bowl to boil water and things like that. You can use it to signal for rescue. You just kind of fold that up. You want to keep it from getting damaged. Take the same bag that this is in, it's your blanket, and slide that into there. Just like that. That way you stay together. And then your bag, your bag's for this. Just like that. That way they don't get damaged. All right. You don't want to get a bunch of holes in this stuff. And then just same with this. Fold this up. But this is for your water purification. Put your water purification tab. You can just leave them in there like that. They'll be fine. But then something like this. Just kind of roll those up. See the width of that. All right. So it's not going to fit like that. This is one of the things you got to do. So just kind of fold that up. And put it in there like this. That's going to be for your water. And if you damage any of these, you've got other, there's, you know, you take what you can and try to make something for water purification. But see, now I've got something here uh, to keep you warm and to purify water with. So you would use that. And then we'll get into the saw. Let's go ahead and... Yeah. Like that. Go ahead and leave that together. Now, I don't need all this extra cordage, so I don't need these little straps. Because you can use sticks in the place of straps. Just like that. Cut all this stuff off. Yeah. There we go. Now I've got this and it's all put together. And this can just kind of go right in here with my towel. Once again, place it where it fits right. 
place everything where it fits nice and neat. But there, <laughs> all right, there we go. Okay, now that fits a lot better. Okay, now there's my lighter. Just like that. And you want to make sure the lighter doesn't get clicked, right? All right. Now, out of all this medical equipment, you can put together, you're not going to be able to put together a lot of this stuff, but you can put together most of it. Um, your your towels are not going to be as important, but a, having a couple of these little towels would work. And then, uh, bandage-wise, having a couple of these butterfly bandages would work. Right? A couple of butterfly bandages. Then, your little, these little bandages here are just a waste of time. You need some regular bandages, they're more important. Your regular band-aids are more important. But this will get you by. You don't need tons of medical equipment, okay? This is just until you get rescued in a situation. Sting pad, one. One sting pad will work. You don't need 20 sting pads, okay? Um, you got your towels. Ointment. One pack of ointment will work. That's all you need. You don't need 20 packs of ointment. These little bandages here. These knuckle bandages are way more important. Throw your knuckle bandage in there. Because you start running out of band-aids and things like that. Sutures. These little sutures are important. And then the next thing you would want to do throw in a strip of gauze. Gauze is important. Alright. Just like that. Now, now that I've got all that out of the way, one more thing. Now for fishing hooks, just kind of take some tape. Just find a nice location. If it doesn't take up a lot of room, just stick them in there like that. And then kind of like the razor. The razor blade. Just kind of stick it somewhere. And now this sharpener will fit right here. So there's no reason to go looking for a place for it. Just kind of scrunch up your saw a little bit. And then that'll fit right in there just like that. So now I got my paste counter, my saw, and my sharpener right there. And then items like this can just kind of set loosely in here. This is just your your thread, your uh, thread, and uh, that's some high test line, and that's just regular fishing line. And then your bread ties can just lay in here, and stuff like this. You want to make sure you don't lose. So once again, just like I said. Just kind of stick them in there and then leave extra tape. You might need it for something else. And then pull this. Yeah. Here's my weights. I don't want to lose my weights. These are my fishing weights. So just kind of keep them together. There we go. And put it so that it doesn't hit something else. Let's just, like I'm, well, never mind. One of the problems with that, there we go. I just don't want it to hit something else. There we go. And now it's taped in there. So once this gets closed, it's not going to get open and shut over and over again. And there's my needle for sewing. Just like that. And then here's my jute. Just throw your jute in there. You could wrap it up nice and neat if you wanted to. Let's just do that real quick. I don't want it all over the place. Jute's important. Now, that's pretty much that. That's all the go-go gadgets. There's my first aid kit. You just want to make sure that it doesn't get in the way of the seal when you shut the door. There's that. Let's see if this will shut. <laughs> Fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. All right. Come on now. This will work. This will work. This will work.
Ooh, it's a close one. It'll settle here in a minute. Get in there. Just my bag keeps getting in the way. Am I going to get it? I got stuff in the middle getting in the way. Let's move some stuff around here. So I know this fits good. Alright, there's that. Let's shift this stuff over to here. I still have room. Then let's shift this over to here. That way it's not center. It's got too much in the center and not enough. Oh, probably don't want to put that there. Let's put it like that. There we go. Alright now, it's time to get crammed in here. It's hooked. Alright, it's getting in the way over here. Okay, it's a little time consuming, but you can do this. I have faith in you. Oh, now that side shuts good. Okay. Okay, I'm removing the clip from this. I'm just making a little bit of room here. Because that was part of the problem. Was stuff's kind of getting in the way. I'm going to make sure this can fit in there. Because it's just center. The center of this thing's just got too much going on. So I'm just making sure I've got room. I just got to move a couple of things around. That's kind of what's going to happen. You're making kits like this. Why does that keep pumping up? Get your butt in there. As soon as they get it off, it starts popping back up again. But like I said, this kit is so that you can you can bust all this stuff back out if you need it, and you'll be ready to go. But I want to be able to make something. See how that keeps popping up? Ah, I think it's that. There we go. Get you out of the way. Stop popping up on me. As soon as I get it laid down, it starts popping back up again. I had it nice and organized, and then it just went chaotic on me. It's still popping up. Whatever. It's not going to be perfect. There it goes. Yep. Still not short. It's the center. Well, it's in there, but I gotta get it. Okay, this time I just put everything inside there, as you can see. 
instead of having two separate little kits, the first aid and that, that's the best way of doing it. So now, let's try it one more time. Does it work? Will it work this time? Uh-oh, here we go. So you probably still need something to support the sides a little bit. But that center is just a little tight, but it's all it's all compressed in there. I just it's just a little Yeah. It'll be alright. But it's all in there. There you go. There's your stuff. All in one little kit. Like I said, you could use, like I said, I got the rubber band here to utilize. Just put the rubber band over the top of it. Just like this. Boom. Just like that. I'm sure, I come up with something better than that, but there you go. And then you can put that in your in your little kit, in your little get around kit, and now you've got a everything survival kit I was showing these water capsules here you just need an individual little baggie to put them in because you're gonna need um, two two from this one and two from this one in order to make the same amount of water so it actually does take up more space to carry something like this than it would be for those types of capsules there okay it took a lot longer than I wanted it to but it's done there you go extra kit it's a uh, it's not an easy task to do it's something you'll have to fiddle around with for a little bit but you'll get it done it'll work out all right you're watching sos i'm stas on bass have a beautiful fabulous fantastic rainbow unicorn day and try to take it easy before someone ruins it remember that i'm out take it easy